let's dive in into this project and let's start by understanding the sensor, the ultrasonic sensor that we're using, the HCSR04. So I'm going to pull the data sheet. I just Google data sheet of the HCSR04, come up with this one. And I know the range is going to be from two centimeters to 400 set centimeters non-contact measurement function. And has a little bit of description here on how it works. The connection or connecting the uh, connecting pins. So five volts is the power supply. Ground is your reference. Two pins. One is an input, and not an output pin. It consumes around 15 milliamps. Works at 40 hertz. It has a measuring angle, uh, which is very. Imp this is important. 15 degrees. We'll see in a minute what does it mean, this trigger and echo, this TTL pulse. This is how the sensor looks like. So we have access to the VCC, trigger, echo, and ground pin. And we have the timing diagram. The timing diagram is explaining how this sensor works. So through the trigger input pin, it's going to receive a command from the Arduino, a 10 microsecond pulse. It's going to tell the sensor to send a sonic burst um, through the medium that is going to bounce eventually in objects and then reflect that back. And then on the pin, the uh, output pin, the echo pulse, is going to raise the pin high and is going to wait for that echo to come. And whenever that echo is detected, this square wave goes down. So this output echo pulse is going to have different ranges. It can be shorter if it detects objects very close to the sensor, or it can be longer if it detects uh, objects further away from the, from the sensor. It tells you the formula that you can use to calculate. So now if I know the time that I spend here on the, on the high level of my pulse, if I do that divided by 58, I will know the distance in centimeters. Or if I do divided by 148, I get the distance in inches. They also suggest, and this is an important step, to use over 60 milliseconds measurement cycle. So when I do this pulse and all this stuff here happens, whenever I want to do a second pulse, at least I should wait 60 milliseconds total before I issue a pulse. They give you a little bit of details here. Make sure that the terminal should be connected to the module first, otherwise it will affect the normal work of the module. So make sure that you have your wires all connected before you turn on your system. And it will also, the way that you put the objects in front of these will affect your measurements. All right, so this is the data sheet for the ultrasonic sensor. Let's go back to our project. And we don't need to do any schematic because these guys are already giving you a schematic. So the Arduino is going to be connected to the ultrasonic sensor through these two pins over here, the echo and the trigger. And the ground is going to be connected, connected to the ground and VCC to the five volts of the Arduino. And a wiring di diagram here that tells you how to connect things. So in this case, if this was not provided, we will need to do it. But in this case, it's provided. This is more than enough for now for our schematics and block diagram. 